Hey guys, this is Baby Ice in 2003 here. And for my first review of 2019, I'm going to be reviewing my 2004 tape. So you already knew that since you probably read the title and looked at the thumbnail. And you can see the koala right here. And it's on a VHS. So you obviously know this is 2004 VHS, but whatever. Let's just get right into... Let, 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 let's just get right into the review and not waste time with the introduction. So, I'm reviewing these in the order that I got them. Although it's actually the same as chronological order, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, this is the Baby Mozart uh, 2004 VHS of CD. And this one, uh, let me just say that all, all three of these I got because of good luck, or it was by accident. This one, I knew what I was getting. There was a little scene on eBay that had a stock photo of it. And, uh, we thought it would be, like, me and, uh, you know, Dylan and stuff, we thought it would be 2002. But then, Leo6849, or that baby Van Gogh guy, which was his username at the time, he said that it was actually 2004. So, me, Epic Stuff, DJ, Dylan, Cohen, maybe a few others, I don't know. We all bought this. It was, like, $17, and... I mean, it was a little bit expensive, but it came. It was 2004, and I was like, yes, I finally have a 2004 tape, and it was worth it. Because this, I mean, it's even sealed and everything, although, I mean, the uh, Epic Stuff, DJ, Dylan, Cohen, and others, they unsealed theirs, but I kept mine sealed since. I mean, if I unseal it, you know, there's not really anything special. That's That CD's just a pointless five-track sampler. And this tape, I mean, it's baby, I mean, it's baby Mozart 2004. Although, this tape is actually uh, a bit weird, cause it has a 1998 sticker label and a black top. Like, like, like the tape, it appears as a 1998 tape, even though it plays 2004, which is weird. But Dylan, Epic stuff, DJ, and Cohen, and others all have that same thing. And I know, like, Baby Einstein 2 Zero Two Five Seven's Baby Box 2004 tape had that. Which that happens sometimes. On 2004 tapes, it has like the it, like it appears as the older version with a sticker label. Kind of weird. But anyways, I'm still glad to have this even if it is sealed. Uh, let me show the sides and stuff. So yeah, here's the front. You just looked at that for a few minutes, anyways. But whatever. back. Pause whenever you want. Other side. I mean, no side. Other side. Top. Uh, the inside, uh, can't actually show that since it's sealed. The CD, you can see it right here. The tape, you can see it right here. Uh, okay, yeah. There's not really anything else I have to say about this one, because, I mean, you know, like, other people, like, you know, four other people got this exact same listing that I got, so it's not a special. Uh... D DJ and Cohen probably have videos about it on their channel too, so you you can look at those. And yeah, this was in like December 2017. I, it was like a week before Christmas, I remember. Then, about a week and a half later, uh, closer to New Year's, like between Christmas and New Year's, I got this. Another Baby Mozart 2004 table, but this one has no case. And this one was by accident. It was in a lot. That I mainly got because it had a Blue Baby Galileo tape and it had a Baby Shakespeare FHG Gecko tape, which I really wanted. So I got that lot. I, th I think there were a couple of other things, but I, I remember there was a lot of interesting stuff in that lot. There were like seven or eight tapes in there. And uh, although I thought, before I got the lot, I thought pretty much all of them were interesting except for this one because I just thought, oh, it's Baby Mozart 2003 tape. Who really cares? But then I got it, and I looked at this print date. October 19, 2004. And October 2004 later pretty much means, yeah, it's a 2004 tape. If you have one of those tapes that were printed on, like, January 29, 2004, then that's still 2003. But this is at literal 2004. I tested it and everything, and it's 2004. Which means that having this sealed is more justified since I have another copy anyways. Although, I mean, who really... Why would I really want to watch the Baby Mozart 2004 version anyways? And I can watch 2000 or 2002 or 1998 or 2003 or something. But, yeah, and the fact that I got this like a week and a half after getting this, I was like so freaked out. 
But then something even more amazing happened. So one one night or day or something, uh, me and Epic stuff. We saw like uh, there was a listing on Amazon or Epic stuff, Baby on Encyclopedia, whatever. Uh, we saw a listing on Amazon of a Baby Santa 2000 or 2002 VHS. I don't remember, but it had a CD. Actually, I think it was 2000 because I think it had like a picture of a Cheerios booklet or something. I'm listing. So there were two. One of them was like six dollars. The other one was seven dollars. Originally, I was like, I want to get the $6 one because it's cheaper, and I was going to get that, but then Epic Stuff got it, so I got the $7 one. Uh, so, Epic Stuff's came in the mail. It was a 2000 tape with CD, or 2002 tape with CD, and, you know, he was like, yay, now I have all the soundtrack. Actually, I don't think, well, I know Epic Stuff has all 10 soundtracks, but that's, that's besides the point. Love, that helped him his soundtrack collection. And I still don't have Baby Santa's soundtrack, although why should I care about soundtrack? It's pointless. One of the most pointless soundtracks, anyways. But then, mine came in the mail, and I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna have this tape now. I'm gonna have another soundtrack. But then I opened it up, and I was like, no, this can't be. I saw a blue triangle, and I was like, n n n j just no way. And sure enough, it was a sealed... Baby Santa 2004 VHS of CD, even with the mom's number one choice sticker, and I was like, holy crap, and I, I was like, I just got three 2004 tapes in the past week and a half. I mean, yeah, and I still kept it sealed to this day, because I know DJ's was sealed, and I'm pretty sure he unsealed it. I just wanted to keep mine sealed, because, you know, why? I mean, first of all, Baby Santa 2004 is really bad, so why would I even want to watch a tape? I already have a 2070 DVD anyways if I do want to watch it. And also this CD, even if it is very rare, it's only like five tracks and, you know, it's pointless. And I like, you know, I have two sealed 2004 tapes. I don't, I'm pretty sure most other people can't say that. But anyways, uh, yeah. Let me just show the sides and stuff. So front, back, side, other side, top. I said that in a weird voice. Uh, the inside, you know, it, it, it maybe you can kind of see it. There's a CD, and here's a tape. Oh, I'm pretty sure this tape actually does look like a 2004 tape, like how it should look, and not like a 1998 sticker label or anything. Plus, Baby Santa wasn't even made in 1998, so why did I say that? Also, the interesting thing about this is that it says, like, Buena Vista Home Entertainment there. There's like a little thing there that says that. Oh, that's part of the wrapping, not the actual tape. Alright. And then this next one. This next tape I'm about to show, probably most of you have probably heard that I have it, but I've never really showed it. I've never actually, you know, done a video of it or like an opening and closing or anything. And this is probably one of the most rare and most wanted and like, you know, it's like, it's like one of the... It's like one of those Baby Einstein tapes or just products in general that's like holy grail and like nobody has it. Literally, what I'm about to show you, I don't think anybody in the entire community has this, has this except for me. Now you're probably thinking, oh, it's just a 2003 tape. No, it's not. This, my friends, is a Baby Beethoven 2004 VHS with CD. Well, it's undercover, but it is 2004. I am not, I, I am not kidding. I almost swore for a second. That would not be good, but I, I, it's not a joke. Let me just show the sides first, because, I mean, this, you know, it's undercover, 2003. So, this doesn't look that impressive. Here's inside. There is no CD. It was going to be a pointless sampler anyway, so who cares? But here's where things get interesting. That's right. 2002 sticker label. Not only that, this 2004 booklet, uh, we're not going to look at this whole thing, maybe another time, but, you know, this book, oh, of course I had to turn right to this page. I'm not scared of him anymore, though, by the way, if you did not know that. Uh, I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I, I, I should be grown out of that by now, and I am. But, any, but uh, yeah. Now, uh... I would have done an opening and closing of this, like, a few months ago, but it's dangerous. I mean, you know how dangerous Kids 2 is nowadays. 
But probably what I'm gonna do sometime in the next few weeks, maybe even this weekend, if I'm up to it, I will make a video of you know opening and closing the Baby Vator until 2004 VHS link in the description. You guys can see that this is real. And I mean, the only I think the only people that have seen it are Epic stuff, Michael Regan, maybe maybe Dylan or DJ saw it. I don't remember, but. I can't believe I have this. I don't think anybody else has this. And, yeah, and this used to, I used to consider this the rarest baby Einstein team of all time, and now I have it, so probably the rarest one. I mean, we still haven't found World Animals, Newton, or Shakespeare 2004s. And, of course, DJ got, like, that double Mozart and Einstein 2000 tape, and that's really rare, too. But this is still up there as one of the rarest tapes of all time. And I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who has it. So yeah, it, it, this is more mind-blowing than Numbers Nursery. Well guys, that was my mega rare view to make you all jealous of these rare tapes I have. Uh, actually, I didn't even tell I got this. I'll, I'll tell about how I got this real quick, I forgot. So, unlike these three, which I got in December 2017, I got this one in March 2018. It was in a lot, and actually it was in the same lot. Uh, so basically, there was this lot, and DJ sent me it. It had Baby Mozart 1998, I think I can, and that's why I got the lot. But then, also, once I got the lot, I also realized that it had this, and also Baby Bach, uh, Ingner Clark tape, which I reviewed a couple months ago on Baby Bach's birthday. So that was also a great lot. Anyways, my camera only has, like, one minute left of recording, and my memory card will run out, so I have to end this now, but they, these are just, you know, some of my most prized Baby Einstein tapes, and, I mean, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say, so... It's BBS Intelligence 3 signing out.